Hey guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. After two weeks of vacation, I'm back. And I'm glad that you're here and you're connected with us. And today is a big one. I've been preparing for this one for a long time. Hopefully, I will get all the information you need to connect your Shopify account and to be able to manage it on the ongoing basis. Without much further ado, I will do a PowerPoint presentation and then we're going to take a look oh, before we go into the PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to show you where to find those apps and uh, so that you can integrate them. So without much further ado, we'll first go into QuickBooks Online. All right. Okay, there it is. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so this is what's going on with the app transaction today. But if you click on transactions and app transactions, there it is. So these are the the app integration that is done by QuickBooks Online. And most of them kind of work the same way. Shopify works a little bit different from Square, uh, but it depends on the setting, how you set it up, okay? So you just click on connect to free app, and then you select Shopify, and then you go to next. It's not gonna let me here because this is just a sample account, so I can't do it on a live account, so <laughs> this is what you would get. But when you get to the next step, it's gonna ask um, how you want to connect it, and we're gonna go to the PowerPoint presentation now so we can, we can show you exactly how it works. So, all right. Okay, there it is. Okay, let's make, okay. And I'm gonna make this bigger. And we're gonna start, play from the start. Okay, so reconcile and also integrate Shopify and QuickBooks Online, right? So the first step that we need to take care of here is to make sure that uh, we create all the accounts, uh, all the, that we create all the accounts that you need in order to integrate. So such as you need to create Shopify bank, Shopify fees, Shopify shipping account, Shopify sales account, Shopify discount, Shopify selling fees, Shopify subscription fees, and so, so, uh, Shopify refund, refund item, okay? Now, if you are managing your um, inventory through Shopify you want and you want to track it in QuickBooks you can import all your products and service from Shopify now uh, let me tell you one thing if if you're if you're not necessarily managing from the inventory from Shopify you, you don't need to do that because the only thing we're gonna do uh, is just when we we categorize the transaction coming in we're gonna categorize as Shopify items so don't have to integrate everything now one one thing here that I wanted to note to you uh, QuickBooks inventory is a work in progress it doesn't work the greatest so if you can avoid managing inventory through QuickBooks and just manage elsewhere that is the ideal and just uh, manually um, do a journal entry to update your inventory at the end of each month. That's that's the ideal um, until improvements are made. But you can give it a try. <laughs> you may have to do uh, monthly adjustments even if you're integrated. Okay. Now to connect Shopify, you you're gonna click on uh, transactions, then select uh, app transactions like I showed to you. Uh, when the account is connected, transactions will flow into QuickBook app integration first, just like Square, okay? If you're familiar with Square, Shopify is the same thing. Now, one thing that is important to notice, there is a workflow for those transactions. So first things first, you will need to add the transactions in the app transactions prior to matching and checking. Well, you're not gonna match it in checking, if <laughs> if you're not gonna add that but the only thing is that some some people uh i've noticed that they decide to add the transactions in bank and then match it in app it doesn't necessarily work and it is creating a lot of problems so i don't advise 
towards that route okay all right so sales transaction will be recorded so when you add those transactions from the app transaction so your sales is recorded in the Shopify clearance bank account and that's how you're gonna map that uh, when you link the account and transfer transactions will be recorded to the checking account to be matching in banking so you're not duplicating the income so it's just gonna transfer that amount into checking it's gonna say that first it was deposited in uh, Shopify clearance account and then it was transferred out of the Shopify uh, clearance into your checking account so the once again the the app workflow is, is Shopify in Shopify is to add transaction in the app transaction match it in banking that is the right one so this is what you're gonna see on your checking account uh, so you can match it correctly okay so after all transactions are added from app transactions and matched in a checking account um, where the deposit is made it is time to reconcile and i always emphasize that how important it is to reconcile your bank accounts and your credit card account your mortgage accounts or everything that um or your liability accounts so you need to reconcile that monthly it's part of the quickbooks workflow to make sure that everything is correct either you are an accountant bookkeeper uh, or a business owner if you're doing that you want to make sure that you do that so your numbers are correct so once you reconcile your checking account, you will need to reconcile your profit and loss to verify if the income coming from Shopify is correct. How do you do that? You pull up your, your uh, profit and loss, verify the numbers. Uh, the main number is the Shopify income, the Shopify shipping transactions, and you want to match that to whatever you have in the Shopify um, Shopify reports now how to get the Shopify reports and how to get the right Shopify reports in order to reconcile that's what we're gonna talk talk next so to get the necessary information from Shopify you will need to log into Shopify click on analytics then select reports then select finance finances re, uh, summary all right so this is what you're gonna get this is what you're gonna see once you log in so click on analytics then select reports and this is what you're gonna get okay so you're gonna see your gross sales if there is any discount any returns and then your net sales your net sales here needs to match to whatever is the net sales for Shopify on your profit and loss now if you have more than Shopify uh sources of income you want to separate that so you want to click create shopify sales and then a sub account for shopify discounts shopify returns and then it's going to show up what is the shopify net sales and then you you'll see the the sales from the other account so the shipping as well so shipping return fees taxes now taxes is not going to show on your profit and loss taxes is a liability uh, and it's going to show on your balance sheet as a liability. Um, so if there was any gift card sales, uh, you, you would need to use that to verify if it is matching to whatever is on your uh, gift card uh, liability account in QuickBooks Online. And, and then it's going to show what's your gift card outstanding balance, which should be the same that it is on the balance sheet as well. So if not, I would recommend to create a journal entry to do those adjustments okay uh, you can also before you do the adjustments you can take a look at you can uh, reconcile your Shopify trans, uh, bank account clearance account and make sure that all transactions are there okay so there's more so that here there's how, what kind of payments you received so some of it went to uh, PayPal payment standards so it's gonna clear on your bank account some of them is Shopify installments it means that it's, the customers will be paying uh, through you know through the months for their purchase and Shopify payment is what should have been deposit deposited into the Shopify um, clearance account okay the total for the month um, okay all right, so you may create a journal entry, like I said, in QuickBooks to make sure the transactions are correct. You can create a template and make adjustments monthly. So uh, I'm all about creating recurring 
templates in QuickBooks and some of them for the Square or for Shopify or for any app that you may have to create those adjustments. Uh, the profit and loss income will need to match the income from, oh, I put Square, I'm sorry, Shopify. <laughs> Shopify, okay? Uh, and you may also reconcile your Shopify clearance account by checking the transactions recorded. How do you get that information? You need to find the sales transactions. Uh, you need to find the sales transactions list by clicking on finance, then select payouts, okay? To verify if your mapping is correct, correct in Shopify, that's very important. You can go to App Transactions. Then on the left hand side, there is a Shopify icon there. There you click on the pencil and it's going to open up on the left hand side, it's going to open up the App um, Transaction settings. So it's going to show what bank account is going to, how you're tracking the transactions, and all the accounts that is being routed to. So Shopify. Um, Shopify fees should be going to Shopify fees in QuickBooks and so on and so forth, right? Okay, thank you for watching. This is it. <laughs> Shopify, I love Shopify. I even invest on Shopify. It's a great tool for many of you who wants to have a little bit more independence um, and they have pretty much everything there for you. So if you need a one-on-one -on -one tutorial or team training, ongoing bookkeeping, clean up and catch up, you can contact us. This is our phone number. This is just for that. So uh, this is, I'm not, keep in mind, I am not QuickBooks. This is the bookkeeping experts. We, <laughs> we are actually pretty specialized in integration uh, and uh, in, in book, bookkeeping QuickBooks uh, tutorial. I, I am an accountant. Um, with a master's in account, accounting. So I have uh, over 20 years of bookkeeping experience. So I have a lot of experience with QuickBooks and, um, and others as well. So I'm going to come back here. All right. I'm back. <laughs> so lots of experience with, uh, especially with integration. That is my forte. I love integration. I love to see how it works. Uh, if you ask me, is Shopify app integration by QuickBooks perfect? I'll tell you, no, it is not. That's why we do the journal entries at the end of the month. Now, if you select not to integrate, it's okay. You can do that as well. Remember what I talked to you about creating that uh, journal template, like ongoing journal template, recurrent uh, journal template in QuickBooks Online. We have a video just on that, how to create a recurring uh, journal entry. I have it for Square, but Shopify is kind of the same thing, except that it has different accounts. You just have to uh, find out what works for you. So thanks for watching. Thanks for taking the time <laughs> with me today. Um, after two weeks of vacation, went to Park City, enjoy my family. I'm refreshed and ready to help you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a wonderful summer time with your family. And until next time, keep on smiling.